What seemed incredible, even by Hollywood standards, became a real-life story last year when a 12-year-old Florida boy named Gregory Kingsley successfully sued his mother for a divorce. After years of being shuffled in and out of foster homes, little Gregory wanted to end the parent-child relationship with his mom so he could be legally adopted by his then foster parents, Elizabeth and George Russ. He had repeatedly called me, in fact, and raised the subject. The precedent-setting case is now a Hollywood story called Gregory K. Playing the role of Gregory is Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who says there's an obligation to make films like this one. You're not going back to sleeping in cars and being beaten with a belt. And you're not going to get sent off to wherever your mom can dump you when she doesn't want you anymore. You're not going to watch her throw up all over your breakfast. That's not going to happen to you. You can see any movie of the week's about about a murder or something like that, but this is a really important issue that's real, and people, I think, need to pay more attention to it, which is child abuse. And according to the Constitution, you're a person. Bill Smitrovich of ABC's Life Goes On plays Gregory's right adopted dad, George Russ. Bill says the real Gregory right Kay should be commended yourself. for doing what he did. I believe in children's rights. You as a victim should be able to stand up and say, I don't want to be a victim anymore. And that's what this kid did. Kathleen York plays Gregory's biological mother, Rachel Kingsley, a divorced welfare recipient. In real life, Gregory has spent less than 10 months with his mother in eight years before taking her to court. Still, both parents sued for custody during the trial. I had to um, stay in certain situations that it would have been a dream if someone like the Russes would have come and pulled me out. So I think anybody who's come from that kind of a situation, it's almost like watching a fairy tale.